hello everyone. My name is John from Intel. Uh, so I'm glad to be here to share our work on uh, Torch Inductor CPU backend. Uh, so Torch Inductor CPU backend is the default uh, compiler backend for CPU with Torch compile. Um, so it generates the uh, uh, CPP fusion kernels with OpenMP uh, and uh, leverage the uh, standard CPP compiler to create the um, executables targeting various CPU architectures. So this is the work result from um, the close collaboration between Intel and the Meta engineers. Uh, we initiated the uh, optimization efforts approximately uh, one year ago, uh, starting with the FP32 inference. Later on, uh, after uh, PyTorch 2.0, we, um, we uh, expanded the support to include more data types, like uh, B416 and uh, int8 uh, inference. Uh, and then we uh, added uh, dynamic shape support and uh, the scale dot product attention fusion for uh, transformer models. So I'm glad to announce that all of these features have been uh, successfully integrated into PyTorch 2.1. So uh, our efforts have yielded a significant performance advantage, uh, advancements over the eager mode. Um, as you can observe from the slide that um, the uh, performance has uh, um, improved consistently over time um, with uh, the uh, best speed ups uh, ranging from uh, one point seven x to uh, more than three uh, x for uh, FP32, B416, and INT8, uh, measured across the uh, more than 160 models on three uh, popular, uh, the benchmark suite, the Torchbench, Hugging Face, and the TIMM. So let's take a closer look at the compilation pipeline with the Torch Inductor CPU backend. Uh, so the PyTorch program is firstly um, captured with Torch Dynamo into uh, an FX graph. So we um, identify the patterns um, related to convolutions and matrix multiplications with a pointwise uh, post operations uh, and apply the fusion to the FX graph. So like in this example, we have a linear and with a post operation ReLU. Um, and then the inductor further lowers the uh, FX graph into the loop level IR and it generates the uh, CPP loop nests um, to fuse the remaining pointwise and uh, reduction operations. So as you can see that we uh, apply the two stage uh, optimizations. The, for the first stage, uh, in, at the FX graph level, we fuse the patterns related to convolutions and uh, matrix multiplications with uh, pointwise post operations. And uh, map these uh, fusion to the fusion kernel from 1DAN, which is the uh, one API performance library for deep learning primitives. We also uh, prepack the weight layout to block the layout uh, to optimize uh, for the better cache locality. And following that, inductor will fuse, uh, fuse these uh, remaining uh, point-wise and the reduction operations um, using the CPP uh, loop nests. So vectorization is a key optimization that is applied to the loop body. So uh, be, 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 because you know the vectorizing basically uh, enables multiple data points that can be processed with a single instruction. We leverage the uh, ATEMVAC abstraction to make sure that the generated code is compatible with uh, various CPU architectures. Um, 
more than 94% of the uh, January kernels have been vectorized as measured on the three uh, benchmark suites. So we are actively working on to further improve it. As you can see in this example, that on the left-hand side, it is a scalar version of the generated code, and on the right-hand side, it is the generated code of the vectorized version. So basically here, it is uh, like a mask operations, and we uh, use a, a plan V to, uh, to uh, vectorize that. So for int 8 inference, so the model has to undergo a uh, um, torch dot exports quantization flow. So the quantization flow basically inserts the quantization operations uh, into the graph before compilation, while the compilation flow is, uh, remains the same. And uh, we, uh, it, we, we have introduced additional quantization patterns and also the int8 vectorization support uh, to make sure that it runs efficiently with the torch inductor CPU backend. Uh, Bing has uh, introduced the CPP wrapper previously. So, uh, so ba ba basically it is a component that uh, s uh, has supported the uh, Python free mode export with the AOT inductor. So I, uh, I'm here also want to uh, share that it can also be used in the, uh, in the case of a torch.compile, the online uh, in uh, inference. So user just can, uh, configure uh, the uh, config.cpp wrapper equals true to get that. So ba basically the idea is that the originally, um, by default, inductor uses uh, the Python wrapper th to thread and execute all the uh, fusion kernels generated by, by inductor. Um, but uh, it leads to the Python-related overhead, which is uh, more uh, harmful for CPU performance because you know um, the the host code and the kernel code are executed sequentially on CPU without overlapping. So, so yeah. So we m basically map all these uh, Python wrapper code into the CPP counterpart uh, to avoid these overhead. So scale dot product tension is a one important uh, component in uh, transformer models. And a flash attention is an uh, effective fusion algorithm to speed it up. We added the fusion, uh, flash attention fusion kernel for CPU, which allows inductor to identify the uh, scale dot product tension fusion pattern and map this pattern to the flash attention fusion kernel. So this uh, basically, um, brings additional speed up for those popular hacking face models. Uh, lastly, I'd like to introduce the uh, IPEX compiler backend that PyTorch users can use in conjunction with Intel extension for PyTorch. Um, the, the, Py, uh, the IPEX uh, compiler backend serves as a staging area for all the optimizations from Intel, which has not yet been upstreamed uh, to inductor yet. For example, like uh, the custom fusion um, kernels uh, and also specialized optimizations for larger language models uh, and also the support for uh, newer hardware features. So we, are, uh, we will gradually upstream all these optimizations uh, into inductor. So in the next steps, um, we will continue to improve the existing features while uh, also expanded the support to include additional data types like FP16. Uh, we will also uh, further optimize the training and add Windows support. We are also committed to upstream all the optimizations to IPEX. So lastly, I'd like to extend my gratitude to uh, our colleagues from Meta site. Um, in particular, um, uh, Jason Enso, Bingbao, and uh, Horace, uh, who have uh, provided invaluable guidance uh, during our journey. Uh, yeah, so th th this is a, li uh, a lightning talk which uh, uh, haven't covered a lot of details. If you have more questions, feel free to uh, 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 chat with me uh, offline. Uh, thank you all. Uh, so do, do we have time to, uh, for questions? 
Uh, any any questions? Um, I think the major thing is about like few, uh, custom fusion kernels related to uh, gems, especially those like uh, those available uh, in the large language models. So I, I don't think it is uh, like essential technical barriers we we cannot upstream to uh, inductor. It is just like uh, uh, because you know of the uh, time, uh, yeah, and schedule. Oh, uh, IPEX is actually a third-party extension to, to PyTorch. So uh, the IPEX compiler backend is provided as part of the IPEX the package. So you user needs to like include, uh, import IPEX and then use this uh, compiler backend. So uh, another thing that is missing upstream is uh, the GPU support that we are actively working on as well. Uh, okay, so uh, th thank you all.